Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to start with the goods invoice or you can say invoice verification. So after doing the goods receipt, we have to go for goods invoice. So this will verify the invoice. The invoice verification T code is Miro. So where we verify the purchase order and goods receipt. So this can be understood through the hands-on. So let us start the goods invoice for our purchase order. Because the goods invoice or invoice verification is done with reference to the PO. Let's go ahead and see how to do this. So first step is open the SAP GUI and run the transaction code Miro. It will ask you to enter the company code so you have to enter company code. So this is the page for incoming invoice for the company code which we have created. It's a dummy company code. So first basic data you have to enter just as uh, invoice date posting date this is mandatory then here you can see the PO reference we have to enter the PO then automatically it will populate all the data there's a tax amount so here you can see uh, if you click on the calculate tax it will show up the tax amount so there are some tax codes here already some people have created in some cases it will give you error that the tax code is not maintained for your company so you need to create this so don't worry i am going to show how to configure the tax code how to maintain it in the next video so first uh, let me actually select the date so today's date i am going to select hit enter now let us select the tax code as zero percent input tax whatever it is and now here you select the PO so the recent PO we have created that will select if you don't know then you have to use this you select this so this is our PO okay let's select this and select copy okay, hit enter so when you hit enter you will see 9800 amount, 100 quantity each, purchase order, tax code is this, material etc. And uh, this is a 9800 amount. You need to balance this by entering the amount here. You will see the payment terms also. You can see it will uh, fetch up from the payment terms from the vendor. And if you go to this payment tab, you will see baseline date, due date and the payment terms and the vendor address also it will show you details then you have tax contacts note so here contacts if you see who is processing the GR who is processing the IR everything is given here. you can also enter the note here so we can actually use this to calculate the tax if if you maintain the GST SGST you can calculate the tax so tax is coming 196 so how do we you have to make sure that you have to make the balance zero okay if you don't want to calculate tax you can remove this okay then you have to copy this without this sign and then paste here just hit enter and make sure that it becomes zero and you can verify using the similar option enter. now you can see 16 stub, uh, four zeros is the GL account for this supplier and 19 double one double zero is the GRIR clearing account so you can see GRR clear account is credited and the suppliers or vendors GL account is debited. 
now uh, so here you can see the GL accounts of supplier and GL account of GR IR clearing account so here you can see 9800 in case of 19 it is debited and 16 which is the GL account for vendor is credited now everything looks fine you can just save this Let's enter so once you do this the GL accounts will be updated and also you can go and see the PO history there also some changes will happen so I'm going to show you that so now you can see this document number is created and if you want to display the recent created document just click on this and it will show you this document if you want to select follow on documents you can just select this now you can see uh, the GL accounts vendor 101 9800 is credited and 191100 is a GRIR clearing account which is debited the tax code is also given here you can see the purchasing document transaction keys KBS and WRX let us go and see the PO if you hit click here it will open the PO and you can see directly the purchase order history the invoice receipt which is this is created so if you click on it you will see this document so go back and this is how the invoice verification is done with reference to PO. So I hope you understood how to do this invoice verification. Now in the next session I am going to show you how to maintain the tax code, how to create the tax code for your company. So if you like the video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.